What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode, episode 173. Now friends, we have updates, new cameras and new smartphone accessories to discuss with you today. Now we're going to kick things off by evaluating a new firmware update for the Canon R5, which adds a massive, and I think that's an understatement, new feature that's a game changer for taking high resolution photos. Now, after that, we're gonna discuss or rather take a look at the new Sony ZV-E1, which was introduced earlier this week. Now, there are tons or there were tons of rumors about this camera, which ended up being correct? Well, we're gonna find out here momentarily. And we'll close things off by taking a look at the Insta360, which recently unveiled a new smartphone gimbal that has some, I have to say, some pretty astounding features. Now, all of this coming up here in a moment, but first friends, before we go diving into all the goodness, look, every single week, we put these news reels together full of small little bite-sized little news nuggets that keep you informed as far as what is happening in the industry and of course, if you find some value with this video, as I always do, look, you hitting that like button not only tells us that you really appreciated the video, but it tells that whole YouTube algorithm that the video is helpful and YouTube's gonna share with more people helping us out. So we really do appreciate your support. That said, let's uh, shift gears and get into this week's headlines. Now you may recall a couple episodes ago, I mentioned that the Canon R5 firmware update was incoming. Well, now this thing is here and it might be one of the most impressive firmware updates of all time. And I know that sounds very cliche, but as you'll find out, this is pretty big. Now, the most exciting new feature for the R5 is that you can now shoot 400 megapixel images. Yeah, I, I, your reaction is probably the same as mine when my editor shared this with me. Like, yeah, right, no way. I honestly thought when my editor shared with me when I was kind of asking what's on the on the 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 topics that we're going to be discussing in today's episode, he mentioned 400 megapixels. I'm like, no. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, April Fools is a day away. And this particular editor, we have one of those relationships where, okay, it wouldn't surprise me that he would try to get one up on me, knowing that on April Fools, there's no way he's going to be able to get me. I had to go to Google and because I was calling, nope. B.S. And then, of course, I found out on Google, everybody's talking about 400 megapixels. So sure enough. So anyway, and I've downloaded the the uh, the the firmware update myself, but have not yet installed it. But anyways, the update is officially called the IBIS High Resolution. And the R5 is the first camera to get this new feature. Now, essentially what's happening here, the camera uses the R5 pixel shift IBIS system to stitch together multiple exposures together to create a 400 megapixel image. Now, more specifically, Canon says that the image stabilization mechanics moves the R5 sensor into small amounts to duplicate the effect of smaller pixels. Now, of course, the result is a super high resolution, resolution image, a big image. Now, Canon did not invent pixel shift technology. Olympus gets the credit for that. But Canon has done here is really kind of kicked it up a notch here. A big notch. Now, most applications, a pixel shift can boost resolution by four times, but the R5's new capabilities here increase resolution by nine times. That is a big leap. Now, needless to say, this is a huge new feature that makes the R5 an even better camera. Now, if you're like me and have an R5, it's Hell, it's time to stock up on some pretty massive memory cards to accommodate those enormous Wow, 400 megapixel images. That's gonna be pretty nuts. That's what she said. And I know what some of you are thinking. Hey, Alex, what about the video updates? Like, removing the 30 minute recording limit. Well, if you're like me and your primary use for your R5 is video, you're probably wondering when Canon will release some video related updates. Well, Canon Rumors has some thoughts on that, which they tweeted about earlier today. It goes, there will be future further firmware updates coming for the Canon EOS R5. I suspect adding everything at once could lead to issues with bugs, which we have seen with various Canon firmware updates in the last year. All right, this is comforting to hear, of course, because Again, there's some that 30 minute timer. Yeah, let's face it, we all would like to see that go bye bye. So it seems reasonable that the R5 will get some new and improved features in the oncoming months. And of course, I am absolutely ready for that. But as always, we'll keep you guys informed as far as anything or when we hear some new details on that as well. 
Now, another topic we've discussed lately is the Sony ZV-E1. Now, this camera was recently confirmed and it is officially unveiled just the other day, actually yesterday. Now, as rumors suggest, the ZV-E1 has a 12 megapixel full frame sensor that offers capabilities like maximum ISO, of 409,600 and up to 15 stops of dynamic range. And since this is a video first camera, it's capable of full frame 4K video at, with full pixel readout and no pixel binding. Now, later this year, Sony will release a firmware update that gives the camera 4K 120p and FHD 240p capabilities. Now, on top of that, the ZV-E1 has several AI video features, including S Gamma 3, Cinemalog, uh, V-Log settings, and a few other other options that enhance its ability to create superb video. Now, other features include five axis optical image stabilization, AI auto framing for movies, and multiple facial recognition features as well. Now, you can use a product showcase setting if you have products that you want to highlight in your videos as well. Now, you also get a three capsule internal microphone that can be controlled by the user or by AI. You have a very angle LCD touchscreen and an in camera time lapsing recording as well. In other words, Sony really wasn't messing around when they said that this little camera would be for content creators. They really stepped it up here. Now, the ZV-E1 is available for pre-order right now at a price of $2,198. Now, if this sounds like a camera for you, friend, I'm going to put a link in the description for a link to the page so you can check this thing out. Now, when you hear the name Insta360, you immediately think of their action cameras uh, like the Go 2, the X3, and the One RS. But now, Insta360 is expanding its product line in a innovative AI-powered smartphone stabilizer called Flow. Now, according to Insta360, the Flow is the most advanced AI tracking smartphone stabilizer on the market. In addition to having smart auto tracking features, Flow also includes a built-in selfie stick tripod feet, three axis uh, stabilization, and it works with iOS and Android devices. Now, all of these features come in a compact lightweight package that is just 3.1 by 6.4 by 1.4 inches and weighs just simply 13 ounces. Flow works so well because it uses its stabilization system along with AI tracking technology called Deep Track 3.0. Insta360 says that the combination of these features allow the gimbal to follow subjects in real time. It also enables the gimbal to rotate as needed to follow the subjects moving, which is pretty stinking cool. Now on top of that, Flow can track the same person through the duration of the recording, even if the person is blocked from view or exits the frame. Now the gimbal also offers gesture control, so you can deploy the tripod feet, set it on a solid surface and control it hands-free while you're in front of the camera as well. That's not a bad set of features for something that costs only $159. And as before, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna get more information on this. All right, friends, before I go jumping off here, we have the winners from our last giveaway. So, uh, Michelle Henson, you won the Holdfast Gear Remographer bag. David Norris, friend, you win the Vanguard VAO3 Go Tripod. And Travis Grant, you win the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, if you're one of the lucky winners, big congrats to you. Be sure to head down or look down in the description below for all the details on how you can claim your prize. Now, as usual, we're ready to kick off our new giveaway with three new prizes, and so they are, we have a Vanguard Veo Adapter R48GY bag, we have a Desk uh, Lab portable monitor, and of course the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, as always, entering the giveaway, friends, we make it super easy. Step one, well, you gotta like this video, you need to subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch you leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some more of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swinging by, say hello, we would love to see you. Now, for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. And one last little thing before I go jumping off here. If you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's free to do so, and it's going to give you access to literally thousands of photography related articles on the site, including news on camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for an account, and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And friends, that is 
yeah, that's officially all I have here for you today. As always, look, we love seeing you guys, and I'm absolutely honored that we get a few minutes of your time to share with you the top stories for the week. As always, uh, it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do all the YouTube stuff because, hey, who am I kidding? It really does help with the channel, and we get to see you again. So if you haven't liked the video, I sure would appreciate you doing so. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, friend, what are you waiting for? We'd love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, crush the heck out of uh, the bell thing there so you, all notifications so every single time that we come out with a video just like the one that you just saw well youtube's gonna do its whole notification thing and give you a heads up that the video is ready there for you to watch but friends that is really all i have here for you today so i hope you stay well and uh get out there and take your best shot